Hey Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do a reading for February. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of February in regards to love. So this is for Scorpio. Let's see what comes up. You're starting off the Februarys. I didn't get you your third one in for January, so I do apologize, but it's time to start February. So we're just going to start from here. Oh, well, let's see what's up. And you're first. Scorpio. This is, this is a blockage of some sort. <laughs> you know, there could be some blocked communication. Not what you want to hear, right? Well, maybe you're blocking your emotions. That could simply... Oh, they're just a flipping, aren't they? Ooh, yikes. So, you know, we got to open up your heart here. You may be, you know, feeling like you're not emotionally available at this time. Maybe you're not opening your heart or... Something like that. This is you withdrawing emotionally. There could be some addictions. There could be some sabotage. Maybe you're sabotaging your own ability to open your heart. What the hell is this? Now, <laughs> this is needing to become alive again. This is a temptation coming out of rest. You know, you can't mask the pain. Maybe you've been trying to mask the pain with addictions or drugs or something like that. Whatever this is, we're going to get some more. Mmm. Ooh. Okay, so you guys may have lost an opportunity, maybe with a Capricorn, maybe with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, could be another water sign as well, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, it's like there's no communication, uh, there could be a lost opportunity, unfortunately, I mean, that is a lost opportunity, um, and this is things, you know, being unbalanced, unharmonious, because, but, but, but there's a reason, there's something in the way, something toxic, something unhealthy, is affecting abundance okay there's something unhealthy in your life that isn't good whether it's it's I don't know what it is it's something that you shouldn't be holding on to whatever it's masking it's inhibiting your success you need to let something go I don't know what it is it's toxic could be drugs could be Alcohol could be codependency, uh, some sort of codependency. It is. This is a new idea. You gotta have some sort of new idea. New, new something. This is a new idea. You know, you gotta remember, you're not the victim. Don't let victim mentality get out, get in the way. Okay. You have the power at all times, right in your hand. This is the sword of power, okay? Remember that you have the power. Uh-oh, yikes. Okay, so you may be dealing with, or this could be you, or this, somebody doesn't know what they're worth, okay? Somebody does not know what they're worth. Somebody is not realizing how beautiful they are. So, Scorpio, I'm here to tell you that you're beautiful in case you forgot. Okay? In case you forgot. Um, seriously. Seriously. It's like somebody is not seeing... It's like I'm not open to a new relationship. I'm not open to a new partnership for some reason. Because you're still holding on to some sort of pain. And trying to mask that because the Empress has to deliver the pain. It's reversed. Somebody is holding on to some sort of pain going back and forth with it. It's causing them illness and stress. And they're trying to mask the pain with some sort of addiction. There's a relationship that is not anymore, okay? It's not anymore. It's not happening, okay? And it's like you're still holding on to it. It's still in your hand. You're still holding on to it. 
You may be looking back at it, and I think you do. I think you keep and you look back at it. There's probably no communication coming from this person. You've been waiting, and you've been waiting, and, and it's like, you know what? It's time to live again. It is time to live again, please. It's time to drop that. It's overwhelming. You don't need it anymore. Chuck it. Burn it. You don't need it. You have another opportunity. You do. He's got one wand, the Ace of Wands. You have another opportunity just waiting for you to realize you don't need the rest. You don't need that heavy load. You don't need to hang on to this heaviness, the baggage from whoever this partnership was that is no more. You need to accept the pain so that you can get the miracle, the, the reward that you deserve, the golden opportunity that's waiting for you to see it. But you're so masked by who knows what you are. It's like you're just refusing to see ego, perhaps, pride. I don't know. I mean, the devil is ego. It is pride. You know, rejection sucks. I think there's been a split of a partnership in which you just are not letting yourself release it. And it's time to release it. You know, you have an opportunity waiting for you to see it, but it's like you're blinded. You're blinded by something. I don't know what. You could be dealing with a Leo. I don't know. It's like you don't... You don't have the strength. You have Leo. You have Capricorn. I mean, you have all the signs. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, this is lack of courage, lack of strength, lack of willpower to face your demons. And this is the strength to let go of a codependency to bring success. You need to find the strength to deal with pain, okay? You can't mask it forever. It's not going to bring you anything solid. The devil doesn't bring anything solid. He brings short-term gratification and that's it. You guys are clinging to the past. You're clinging to something that needs to be let go of. Please, God, let go of it. Please, Scorpio, let go of it. Whoever you're dealing with, they're not putting in any effort. They're not engaged. What about this other person? Let's talk about this. What's this other person doing? This person is unhappy. This person is an unhappy person. This person is not a happy camper. Whoever you're, whoever you're hanging on to, they're not a happy camper. You could be hanging on to a, a Leo or an Aquarius. Could be anybody, but I'm just saying who's coming up. It's like you may think that this is your wish fulfillment, but... This is a blessing in disguise that this, there, this didn't grow. Trust me, it was. You have another opportunity for wish fulfillment, but you got to allow yourself to heal. you got to have hope. You need to think positive. You have somebody else. The person that you are dealing with is, I think they've already cut you out. They've made the decision. Whoever you're dealing with has made the decision. A firm decision. And they're not going to put in any effort at all. They're not going to apologize. They're not going to come with any offer. They're not focused on you. Whoever it is that you're hanging on to from the past. Whoever, because there's somebody from the past that you're hanging on to. It's the truth. Whoever you're hanging on to, they have a, they're not interested. I'm sorry. They're not. They're not. And, you know, it's time for you to be happy again. Please, please, please be happy again. Let go of the pride. This is what this is. Let go of the ego. Take that power back in your own hands. You have the ability to take that power back. And find your stability again. Open yourself up. Stop holding on to what you had and share yourself with other people, okay? 
Share what you have to offer with other people. Stop looking back. Stop looking back. You're only deceiving yourself. There's no victory and success with this person that you keep looking at. And it's time to move on. You are blocking. You're blocking new love. It's time for it to end. It's time for it to end, Scorpio. You could be dealing with cancer. There's cheating. I don't know. It could be any of the signs. I'm just telling you who I see. It could be dealing with another Scorpio. It's over. Except... And release. This is accept and release. Endings bring new beginnings. This truly was a blessing in disguise. You have a miracle coming with the star card and the empress card. Even though the empress is reversed because you haven't, you're not releasing the pain. As soon as you deal with that pain and you deliver that pain, you will receive a miracle. The star card is a miracle too. You will receive a miracle, but you got to accept that pain. You got to deal with the pain. You're not a victim. You need to open your heart. You need to feel alive again. You need to put yourself out there. You need to let what is over be done. It's done. It's over. You have a new beginning here waiting for you to take it. You do. You just need to open your heart. Open your heart. Make yourself emotionally available to somebody else. I think there's a connection that has gone south. <laughs> there's no more passion. There's no more spark. Or there's no, there's no more growth. It's over. It's, 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 it's over. Okay. And you got to stop pretending. Okay. You got to step outside of your comfort zone now. You need to take that blindfold off and accept what is. You have somebody better suited for you and you can't even see it because you're blinded. You're blinded. This is somebody better suited, but you can't see it because you're so pessimistic. You're so caught up on somebody who, somebody from your past. This is somebody from your past. You're caught up on somebody that there's no victory and success with when you have another opportunity for love with somebody that does have good intentions. There's no kidding. But you have to let that old relationship dissolve. I mean, you really, I mean, whichever it is that you're hanging on to, you need to realize it's not compatible, okay? It's not, it's not going to lead to it happily ever after, whatever it is. You guys are hanging on to something that is no more. It's over, okay? Remember that death card's buried under there, whatever. It's over. It's done. There's no more fire. There's, it's put out. Fire's been put out, unfortunately. And it's time for you to move on. It's time for you to master your emotions for real. You don't deserve to be cheated of love. Nobody does. You deserve happily ever after. It's a painful, stressful decision and you need to come out of denial. You can't avoid the truth. It's time to take that mask off. <laughs> I'm sorry. In February, this is a month of dealing with some sort of painful situation that you know is over and accepting the pain so that your miracle can come in because you got a miracle waiting you do but you're blocking it you're avoiding the you're avoiding the truth of a situation when the truth is is that you know that something is over and you don't want to believe it. I can't pretend. Okay. So is there new love coming in? There's there's somebody on the horizon. Yes, there's a new partnership on the horizon, but you can't see it. You can't because you're it's like you're maybe you're on, I don't know if there's drugs involved or whatever, but there's a mask on. You're wearing some sort of mask. There's an opportunity for a relationship with somebody new if you could just cut the cord with the one that is no longer here. There's somebody that's not here. It's over. It's done. They've already moved on. The opportunity is lost. And it's like you're not allowing yourself to heal when you should be. 
the memories are so prominent. You deserve peace. You deserve harmony. You deserve a relationship. You deserve something that's going to lead to victory and success. You deserve to be loved. You don't deserve to be lied to. Whatever. It's time to drop this, okay? It's time to drop this, this, this heavy weight. Okay? This heavy weight. You have another opportunity waiting for you to take just that. Take the new opportunity and leave the rest. You don't need it and you don't want it. So for February, it's about making a painful, stressful decision to take that mask off and accept. You have somebody else waiting for you. It's a blessing. Trust me, with that star card, it's, a, it's heaven sent. But they can't bring it to you until you take that mask off. Good luck.